we have Bitcoin trading just above $26,000. And what I want to focus on today's update, you know, I want to focus on the Bitcoin weekly MACD. So I want to focus on the Bitcoin weekly MACD, you know, talk about the bearishness, what it means for the price of Bitcoin moving forward, and also potential price targets. So if you watched, you know, some of my recent updates, we talked about, you know, the fact that the Bitcoin weekly MACD is bearish right now. In the last week of May, we confirmed bearish, you know, right here, the blue line, you know, crossed below the orange line. And that was the bearish signal. At the time, you know, the price of Bitcoin was around twenty. Eight thousand dollars, and here we are at twenty six thousand dollars. And if you are looking at Bitcoin, you know, wondering when are we going to put in the bottom of this pullback? I think this is going to be a perfect update for you. Uh, but the Bitcoin weekly MACD, you know, clearly is you know very bearish right now, which of course is not very bullish and not very positive for the price of Bitcoin in the foreseeable future. Every time, you know, the weekly MACD is bearish, that has always been, you know, a very strong, you know, bearish signal. And Bitcoin has basically always, you know, traded bearish for many weeks and sometimes many months. So if you're looking at the Bitcoin weekly MACD right now, you know, asking, are we going to be bearish for many weeks and many months? You know, my answer to that is that we are more likely going to be bearish for the next couple of weeks. So this is not going to be what you are not going to see is a big rally, you know, up to $30,000 anytime in the next couple of days. And what you're more likely going to see on a weekly basis is a continuation of this downtrend until, you know, based on the weekly MACD, until we finally bottom and until we get a very positive signal from this indicator. So right now, I will absolutely be cautious. You know, I wouldn't try to predict Bitcoin doing anything crazy. Yes, you know, Bitcoin could potentially surprise us. You know, we could potentially retest $28,000. But what's more important is not the price. What's more important is being on the right side of the trend. You want to be on the right side of the trend. The price is very tricky. This is a highly volatile market. You know, you can wake up the next morning and the price of Bitcoin could be at $29,000. But if you are focusing on the overall trend, you are going to ignore the noise. And you're more likely, you're more likely going to manage risk very well. Uh, risk management is very important. And you're more likely, you know, you're more likely going to get in at a much better valuation. So the trend, you know, is your friend. And sticking with the trend, you know, is more likely going to be extremely rewarding. So we have again the Bitcoin weekly MACD in a downtrend. And just, you know, just, just looking at this weekly MACD, you know, what I think is more likely is you know, what's more likely to play out is going to be a continuation of this pullback. So this blue line is going to continue to decline and we're more likely going to retest, you know, the zero line before the end of this pullback. So we're more likely going to do something like this. I'm all the way down here, retest the zero line, and then we start to incline. And what this orange line is going to do is to continue to decline, 
And sometimes, you know, over the next couple weeks, couple months, we are going to get this confirmation right here. So this orange line is going to, you know, drop below this blue line. And this is, you know, the confirmation. This is going to be the bullish confirmation. Of course, you know, these are lagging indicators. So Bitcoin is going to bottom well before the bullish confirmation. So Bitcoin may bottom, you know, somewhere around here. Somewhere around here, you know, Bitcoin might bottom somewhere around here. And then the MACD may continue to pull all the way back. And then by the time we get a bullish confirmation, the price of Bitcoin could be back around, you know, twenty nine to thirty thousand dollars. A great example of that, you know, if you look at this pullback of twenty twenty one, you know, Bitcoin actually bottomed, you know, sometimes around. So this was the bottom right here, of course, uh, but this was the first you know, drop, you know, down to the bottom of this pullback. And this was in May, uh, this was May 17 of 2021. And we didn't get a bullish confirmation, you know. So May of, you know, let me just make sure that you guys can see this in a visual. Uh, so bottom right here is big wick. But we can even go with this one right here. So that would be June of 2021. So right here, guys. But we didn't we didn't get the bullish confirmation until let's take a look at this until August of 2021. So August 2021 we turned bullish, and by then the price of Bitcoin was all the way up in the forty five thousand dollar range. So if the MACD was your buy indicator, then you missed out. On this entire move right here, you know you missed out on about a fifty percent rally. If we go from the bottom, you know, all the way up to when the weekly MACD turned bullish. So always keep in mind, you know, these indicators they're all lagging. Doesn't matter what indicator that you're using, they are lagging indicator uh, indicators. You know. And that is why it's extremely important. It's extremely important to learn price action. You know, you want to learn price action. Your job is not to try to catch the exact bottom, but what you try to do as an investor is to get in when the market is about to turn around. So you can be in the early phase of a major move. So if you remember, you know, back in 2022, we were accumulating under $20,000. We did not accumulate the exact bottom. You know, I was not able to accumulate it at $15,000, but I was able to accumulate inside of this entire range right here, inside of this range. So I accumulated below 20,000. And what that meant was that I was part of the early rally. And when Bitcoin was able to recover, you know, I was able to capture a nice, you know, 50 to a 60% rally. And those that got in super late, you know, those that got in above 20,000 were only able to get out you know, some sort of a 20 to a 30% move. So this is the difference. This is the difference between, you know, getting in at the right time and getting in at the wrong time. You know, getting in at the right time is going to help you maximize returns and getting in, you know, late, you know, getting in late in, in the run up, is going to diminish returns. And that's exactly what the people who are still waiting for a $15,000 Bitcoin 
or a $10,000 Bitcoin, that's exactly what's going to happen to them. You are going to have diminished returns because of, you know, not getting in at the right time. But going back to the weekly MACD, you know, just want you to know exactly what's happening right now. You know, I think we are, you know, absolutely still in the early stage of this drop right here. But giving, you know, just a couple more weeks, maybe two to three more weeks, then I think if you are the accumulator, you know, you want to start to get in you know, somewhere around here. You want to dollar cost average and try to increase your accumulation when we retest, you know, the $22,000 range. Because more likely, you know, this is going to be near the bottom of this pullback right here. You have to keep in mind that we've been pulling back for the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is ten weeks of a pullback. You know, we are over two months in this pullback right here. So we are absolutely, you know, within the next couple weeks, you know, going to near the bottom. Uh, it doesn't mean once we hit the bottom, we automatically, you know, start to go up. What it means is that, you know, if we get something like this, if we push all the way down here, uh, just for the sake of keeping things simple, let's say this is the bottom right here. You know, we might trade sideways, you know, for a couple more, you know, weeks, maybe two, two months, and then we finally you know, start to, to break out. So, you know, this is something that can absolutely play out. Now, of course, this is a weekly time, so you are not going to see, you know, a lot of, a lot of ups and downs. It's more likely going to look like, you know, just looking at this, you might get something that looks like this. Boom. Boom. There you go. Something that's a little more cleaner. So you might get something that looks like this. So this will take us all the way up into, you know, November, December. And then finally, we start to, you know, rally as we head into the Bitcoin halving. Uh, but Bitcoin, you know, looks very bearish right now. There is absolutely you know, no reason to think that the price of Bitcoin is going to go up any time soon. Now, uh, this is a video that is being recorded on June 14. So by the time you watch this, the price of Bitcoin, you know, could be well below twenty-five thousand dollars, or we could be somewhere around twenty-eight thousand dollars. So I appreciate you guys. You know, if you enjoy the content, please just smash that like button